Last time on Jacob Tours' character elimination Jacob and Dakota collab. Well you guys can call it, the colossal elimination Jacob and Dakota collab. The partners had separated, and ended up on their own. And the challenge took place on February 26, 1977, which is the disco dancing challenge. And when it came down to two contestants still standing, which are Jake and Danny, Mako volunteered and demonstrated to Jake and Danny to copy her dance moves. Jake Long ended up being the one to mess up while Danny kept on boogieing exactly the way just like how Mako did, causing Danny to win immunity. And in the end, Oyasi Kuwai was the one to be eliminated. Who will be eliminated next? And who will win immunity? Find, Find out, out right, right here, here on, on Jacob, Jacob Torres' character elimination. elimination. Jacob and Dakota, Dakota Clan. Okay, so this cave that will lead me to the lamp is called the Cave of Wonders, huh? Well, let's see, it says that I should move 600 paces forward, and it will lead me there. Hey King Rugnard, mind if you guard the door while me and Hagao have a good time in there? Sure thing Jade and Hana. Thank you King Rugnard. I can't wait to have a good time with you Jared. Me too Hana. King Rugnard should be able to help make sure Jacob and Dakota don't catch us doing romantic stuff to each other so we don't end up farped. Alright, better make sure no one goes in there. So, you made it into the separation movie, good for you. And as for you Johnny, it's really awesome that you finally had a chance to go a little farther without getting easily eliminated. I believe that's all you ever wanted, right? Yeah, I'm even liking Jacob and Dakota collab better than Triple Threat. Hey Johnny and Moby, who are you two talking to? Wanna say hi to Tim too? Hello Mako, I remember that you were the one who hosted the joining ceremony, how are you? I'm doing really good Tim, even though I never competed in Dakota's character elimination nor Jacob's, I'm just so happy that I get to hang around with Jacob and Dakota. Oh yeah, and also Tim, if you're wondering why Johnny got a chance to make it a little farther this season, well Johnny, I'll tell you along with Tim and Moby. It is because I told Jacob and Dakota, and the viewers to make sure to let you make it a little further. Also, during the piracy, I used Spongebob's invisible spray to turn myself invisible, and I kept quiet the whole time, except I told security guard unit 20 to use psychology on you. And I told him to not tell anyone that he heard a voice from someone and to pretend that he told himself to have a talk with you, which really made you redeem yourself. So wait, it was you who gave security guard unit 20 the idea to talk me down? Yeah, because I really don't want to see you turn bad, and I did not want any viewers to keep on eliminating you very easily. I think you deserve better, and I'm on your side. So you did all of this for me, like helping me get another chance, and making sure I go a little farther in Jacob and Dakota collab? Yep, are you happy about it? Yes I am Mako, I really appreciate what you've really done for me, even though I did not know you did all this for me until you just told me. Well Mako, Johnny, and Moby, I gotta go, it's nice meeting you Mako, and Moby and Johnny, good luck on doing whatever you're doing. Alright, we have arrived. Let's all get out there and announce the next challenge. Well everyone, we're out of luck. Looks like Chocolat isn't around here and we couldn't find Jacob and Dakota. We probably went into the wrong location. I guess we better call Rick and have him open up the portal and go back and let Jake and Claire know about this too. Alright Jacob and Dakota Calabas, your next challenge is... Wait a minute. What is that green thing right there? Hello again, I finally found you, and how dare you leave 2121 AD on me after I just found you. 
I've been in 2121 to look for you, but by the time I found you, you immediately left, and it pisses me off. And what is it that you want, you broke our head? You all know what I want. I want to take over this Jacob and Dakota collab show just like how Max and Guy, and formerly Johnny, took over the Colossal Elimination series. And since DJ Halley Boo ain't here, we, including Malty, Dix, Sura, and Shinji, we're unstoppable. Oh yeah. Well, that just gave us a great challenge idea. And the challenge is to defeat those evil villains. Whoever defeats Cyaclata will win immunity. Now go. They'll never defeat me. Now go crush them, my four. You ready for this, Jake? I sure am, Danny. Now left to take this villain down. All right, Philia. We'll just have to fight fire with fire to defeat this guy. Agreed, not Sue. All right, Samson. Are you ready? Here, Moby. Back me up on this one. What do you call a magic owl who is about to crush you? What? Houdini! I think I have an idea, Flapjack. You go help the others fight the gang of Shia Galata, while I go find Shia Galata and try to make him redeem himself by talking him down. But John, don't you even see how pure evil he is? I mean, security guard units one talked you down and helped you redeem yourself because you weren't pure evil. You just wanted another chance to go a little farther in the code of show especially, but for Shia Galata, I don't know if it's possible to make him redeem himself. I think anything can be possible. Just trust me and help the others keep this four villains working for Shia Galata distracted. I don't know what Johnny's doing, but I really don't believe that Shia Galata is ever going to redeem himself. He's too unredeemable. I think I'm just gonna go inside the time shuttle to call Jake the anime and Netflix critic and let him know that Shia Galata is in 250 million BC, so he can stop Shia Galata. So unfortunately we couldn't find Chocolata, and we don't know where he could be. My phone's ringing, let's see who's calling. Hello? Hello Jake, this is Flapjack. I'm calling you to inform you that Chocolata has traveled in 250 million BC, where the dinosaurs existed. I need you to come and stop him. Alright Flapjack, I'll be on my way. What happened honey? I got a call from one of Jacob's contestants, Flapjack, that Chocolata traveled into 250 million BC. Alright Rick, I'm gonna need you to open up the portal gun to 250 million BC so we can take down Chocolata and stop him from trying to pirate the Kellett show. Roger. There you are Shia Galata. I got you where I wanted. Oh, it's the flame-headed boy. Well you can't defeat me, I'm going to get what I want, including taking over this collab show of Jacob and Dakota's. Well you can't always get what you want you murder-obsessed fanatic. Because I've been there as well. All I wanted was to continue my way throughout Dakota's elimination series since then before the piracy incident changed me. I was so blind to realize my mistakes back then and maybe if I've calmed down and think my senses, things would have turned out better for me in season 3. Of course it was due to the fandom, but nowadays, I finally decided to turn in a new leaf and start all over, starting now. I'm pretty sure you can relate to what I'm doing. Ooh wow, he's trying to help Shia Kalata redeem himself like how I made Johnny redeem himself. Johnny's so cool. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
Flapjack, since you were the one who technically defeats your collator by calling Jake the Enema and Netflix critic to take him down, you win immunity. And as for the rest of you, you will all meet up with Arco at the elimination lobby as soon as Johnny Tess gets his neck casted. At least the other four villains of Shia Colada retreated and that Shia Colada is now dead for what he did to Johnny, but I hope he gets better soon. Anyways, like Dakota said, we wait until Johnny is all set and then you all will be reporting to the elimination lobby with Akko. Alright now, Akko here again, though, six episodes ago, Mako took my place, and it is now time for me to decide who will be stepping on the return pad, so let's get started. Alright now, Flapjack only had one vote, but since he won immunity, they no longer count. Danny had immunity, so he is safe. Houdini and Moby had auto immunity, so they are also safe. Philia and Natsu are safe at zero votes. Jake is safe at two votes. Audrey and Johnny, you are at the bottom two, so the person safe at ten votes minus the five, since the minus five advantage is used by Dakota, is... Audrey. Johnny, even though Jake used the minus 5 advantage on you as well, but wasn't enough since Dakota used his minus 5 on Audrey. I'm afraid you have been eliminated with 12 minus 5, giving you the total of 7 votes. You know what, I'm happy with that, because I didn't really get eliminated this easily, especially last episode, when I was safe this time after having no autoimmunity. And despite having two autoimmunities in a row, I was able to go a little farther way better than in the original Colossal Elimination and Triple Threat. And I'm so happy that it finally happened, which is why I made sure you make it a little farther at least like everyone else. And Mako, I really thank you, for helping me redeem myself when you were invisible by telling Security Guard Unit 20 to have a talk with me during the piracy. All I needed was psychology to help me let all this go. No problem Johnny, I honestly felt bad for you back in Season 3, and I think it was really mean of Dakota and Serene to drop you down to last place, no offense to Dakota, and it was very mean to the other viewers for always purposely voting you off very easily, all you wanted was to get another chance to make it a little farther like everyone else. Well Johnny, go ahead and step right on this return pad, so you can not only enjoy the Sky Hotel, but also get some rest after Shia Galata almost strangled you to death. Oh yes, of course, thank you for letting me compete, and thank you once again Mako, for your reason why I got a chance to go a little more farther than seasons 1 and 3. The rest of you are safe, for now, you may all leave this lobby, while we pass the camera to Jacob and Dakota announcing something about the rejoining coming up. Alright, it's time, the moment you've all been waiting for. You all will vote for which two eliminated contestants to rejoin the game. But you will only vote one from Jacob's, and one from mine just like how you were allowed to vote like in the joining ceremony. Now to reveal the eliminated contestants. I would really appreciate it if you guys vote for me. Because I've done nothing wrong to deserve to be the first one eliminated. Please vote me Petri. I'm begging you guys, please vote for me. I haven't shown much screen time, and I only improved one episode further than season 1. I already won Luther's character elimination, but you guys can vote for me if you like. I'm very impressed that Flapjack has made it into the separation, despite him being the first one eliminated back in Rapper Island, but you guys can vote for me if you like. Please vote for me, because I can show you that I improved better than that. If you guys vote for me, I would appreciate it a lot. I only improved one episode further too just like Anne Maria, so please vote for me, because my best buddy Sprig is really counting on me. Vote for the guy who can summon Jujus, like me. You guys can vote for me if you like, but if not, that's fine by me. I really love butter toast and jawbreakers and chickens. It's really okay if you don't vote for me, but you guys can feel free to vote for me if you like. Please feel free to vote for me if you like. Well, I happen to be the most recent one eliminated, but even though that, you guys are still welcome to vote for me if you like. Vote for one eliminated contestant on my side to rejoin. And vote for one contestant on my side to rejoin alongside with Jacob's side. 
So that's all for now, so happy voting.